Hi everyone. So I have made so many get ready with me videos, but I don't think I've ever made a take everything off video with me. So I'm kind of copying Vogue's go to bed with me, but I really like the idea so that you can see what people's skincare looks like after a day of, you know, wearing their makeup out and skincare is so important because it helps us as we're aging and because that's a long night of sleep where your face is just like recovering so this is my routine to go to bed um especially after a day of wearing a lot of makeup so so as you can see i went to dinner so i have like a full face on and i thought today would be the perfect time to do it because sometimes i don't wear as much makeup so my skincare routine like looks a lot less than what it is when i wear a lot more makeup so let's get into it and I'll show y'all my different steps, especially when it comes to taking off all this makeup and ensuring I have a clean face before going to bed. So to start, I need to get my hair back. I have, I did cut my hair. I don't know if y'all will notice, but I cut my hair so it's got a little more layers in it. I'm having difficulty keeping it like out of my face when I'm doing my makeup and now when I'm washing my face, I feel like I have a hard time just keeping it out of the way. So I am using a headband. I'm trying to secure it back and just trying to get it just all out of the way. And then I'm also going to clip it and I think one clip will be fine, but might need two. Like I said, I recently cut it in layers and I think it's fine, but I think I'm just ready for the shortest layer to grow out a little bit. So. All the way back i start by just ripping my lashes out i wish i could say like i use a serum but i don't i just literally just pull them off i don't use like a hardcore uh, eyelash glue or anything so i'm able to just rip them out and not really tear out my natural lashes which is really nice okay <laughs> my face looks so different every time i take off my lashes i'm like who is that person <laughs> so now that i have my lashes off. I am going to go in with the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. I love all of CeraVe's products. I have said that in so many different videos. CeraVe products are really great. I have very sensitive skin. I also have self-diagnosed myself with having like eczema as well and I think this stuff just works so well on my skin. So I'm going to use this to cleanse my face i usually just grab like one big pump like that and then i grab water in my other hand and i kind of just like mix it together and then put it all over my face so here goes so usually it gets super super um foamy and wet so i usually try to hang out over the sink so i'm gonna do that now but you see me i'm just gonna go in all the way even like on top of my eyelids I think what's nice about this is like it's a really gentle cleanser so I don't feel like I have to take extra steps to be even more gentle okay so I got a good amount of it off as you can see my face is looking a little more fresh <laughs> I grabbed paper towels I've talked about it in some videos but I unfortunately am a paper towel user because my skin is super sensitive so I'm really scared to put any type of like cloth or material towel on my skin i don't care how much you say you washed it i just really try to keep anything that's like cloth or material off of my skin um yeah i will break out in a rash like my skin is so sensitive so i'm really big on using paper towels and so i'm just like wiping it clean wiping off the water and just making sure i'm getting on any, any um leftover makeup off I still keep like or I still have like a little bit around my eyes so that's when I'm going to use the micellar cleansing water and this is wonderful it even removes like waterproof uh, mascara and I just have always loved it so with that same cloth I just used I usually just like bundle it up even more and then I just like dab a little bit on here a little really goes a long way. I wish I could say that I was one of those girls that was always good about 
like not sleeping in my makeup but i definitely haven't always been in my younger years i think i even like slept with my lashes on after like a night of drinking and so i definitely regret those times because maybe i might age better if i didn't do all that <laughs> so here what i'm doing i'm just going in with a q-tip um I I had makeup on under my eye and of course I can't just like get all up in there with some soap so I get in there with the micellar cleanser and a q-tip. I got most of it off but one more thing I do is I go in with just like a half a pump of this. Very minimal but it's just like to get rid of anything that might still be lingering around just one half of a pump um, and I go back in and cleanse it up again so here goes. Okay, so I feel like it really makes a difference when you double cleanse like that because then you really get anything that might be like lingering around off. So once again, I just dry with the paper towels, pat it all around my face. <laughs> okay, so it is like fully cleansed now. <laughs> I got everything off. I used my CeraVe, one full pump. I did my cellar cleanser and then I did a half a pump of CeraVe, so pretty easy to follow along and you get a really like nice, fresh, clean face. And like I said, I have super sensitive skin. I have really dry skin and this routine has worked for me for years. Um, definitely thankful that I found these products. My last couple of steps are really basic. I grab my moisturizer and this one might be surprising to you, <laughs> but I typically use like just like a Jergens Ultra Healing. When I was in college, this was a lotion that I feel like was super affordable and it was just easy to get to. I think that was the biggest thing. Like aside from affordability, it was just like at every like Walmart or CVS. And so um, I remember just getting it and like always using it on like my legs and my arms after a shower and just like it was just a really good lotion. I feel like it's just like nice and creamy and it's really thick. And I feel like when I put it on before bed, I feel like it's really doing, doing some like healing to my skin. Who knows if it actually is, <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, I've used this for years and I've never had a bad reaction to it. So I can't change now. Like I have to stick with it. So this is what I use. We were going to sleep i just like rub it in i make sure i put it like under my eyes and above my eyelids i even like rub it around my ears because i get dry skin in my ears <laughs> and like i said after the shower like this is this is the go-to <laughs> so definitely recommend it i don't know it's always worked for me so and then and then my last step is to just go in with some vaseline and put it all over my lips I tend to bite my lips a lot because of like a nervous habit so I try to always keep them moisturized and I think at night when I moisturize them it really helps so they don't look so dry during the day and then if I have extra acetylene I just put it on top of my eyebrows like so and then that is how I go to bed so nothing too crazy hopefully at all Seems pretty easy to follow. So if you wanna give it a shot, I definitely suggest it for someone who has sensitive skin and who might have dry skin and someone who might be looking for more affordable products because like I said, some of these products, I've been using them for years because of how affordable and easily accessible they were. So thank you all for getting ready for bed with me and I hope you all wake up absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so thanks for watching, bye.